Greetings, this video will show you how to get Spectra layers set up as an external audio editor in WaveLab. At the same time, we'll do a quick repair operation in Spectra layers that starts and ends in WaveLab. Okay, let's get started. Here, I have WaveLab open on a new project. The external editor hasn't been defined yet, so let's do this now. This only has to be done once. Up in the file menu, select Preferences and then Global. Make sure you're on the External Applications tab and then go over and call up the Spectra Layers 9 application to make it your primary external editor. And now we are ready to integrate the applications. Listen to this impact sound and its obvious defect. Now let's take it over to Spectra Layers and do some repair work on it. I'll move the entire file over. Command A selects it all, then click the Edit tab, move over to the External Editor drop down menu, and choose Spectral Layers. The program opens, and now we can see our content on the spectral graph with the defect in full view. Here I'm using the Clone Stamp tool in Spectral Layers to perform the repair. Refer to the video titled Clone Stamp and Eraser Tool at the Steinberg YouTube channel to learn more about this process. It's a great feature for cases just like this. Okay, now let's listen to the repaired audio. Okay, great fix. It was easy, and we are finished. To get back to WaveLab, simply quit Spectra Layers and follow the prompt. It's that simple. Using Spectra Layers as an external editor in WaveLab is an easy and elegant workflow. With these two applications at your disposal, you can achieve previously unimaginable results in mastering audio as well as in all audio creation, production, and editing applications across the board. Thanks for watching this video. Spectra Layers Pro 9 delivers new levels of speed, precision, power, and control. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the Steinberg channel.